Our apartment was in Gracia and this is a beautiful quiet area with the markets only about a five minute walk away. Wednesday turned out to be a full day with much walking. Even though we're get, getting good at catching the local buses and bought a T10 ticket for 10 euros. The Casa Baccio was excellent to revisit. So much work, turned wood, ceramics, stained glass, swirling ceilings and mosaics, all apparently inspired by the sea. Walking around near Plaza Catalunya, we passed some really interesting shops. We wandered down Las Ramblas, clutching our bags tightly, but it was unnecessary, there were no pickpockets in sight. I managed to remember the general direction to Picasso Museo and on the way we visited the Barcelona Cathedral which needs loads of restoration. It was very peaceful. This is the big Barcelona Cathedral. It's undergoing restoration. On Thursday we made our way to Plaza España to catch the train to Montserrat. This is the 15th of September and we've just caught the train up to Montserrat. We're going to catch the Rack Railway up into the mountains. We escaped the crowds by catching the funiculars, first down to Santa Cova and then up to San Juan. We shared the funicular with Stace and Phil, two guys from Long Beach, California. On the way back we chatted with Daniel, a South Korean accountant who studied at Griffith University and left his job in Poland to travel. He referred to us as his Melbourne mum and his Canberra mum. The image of the Virgin Mary was seen by shepherds and others, so they built a church around her. There was a long winding track to the little cave church with spectacular views. Our Lady of Montserrat is the patroness of Catalonia. An altar of gold surrounds the icon and it is now a site of pilgrimage. It's Friday the 16th of September and we're at Sagrada Familia. This is the little park opposite which is really pretty. This particular garden has loads of different kinds of flowers as you can see. And here's the one, this is the mother of them all. This is the old piece. 
been built for a fair while ago, but they've added the tops and tiles to life. Saturday the 17th or 18th of September, 17th, and we're looking at Barcelona's two skyscrapers down by the beach. We're walking along the water's edge, and there's a lot of things happening here planes coming in, helicopters flying. These girls are on a hen's party, I would say. And there's the bride. This is a statue of a giant fish. Not a very good angle, but it's, it glimmers all different colours. This is covered in ants. It's very Dali-esque. And there's a ball resting on the edge of the building. This is a better view of the fish, the giant fish down at the beach side. There's a few boats here, Baz, that might suit us. Um, but we've got a lot to choose from in this marina. This is a better view of the fish from the water's edge. And I'm just about to dip my toes in the water. Beautiful. So this is the Colon. And we're in the at, down at the port in Barcelona. And look who we found. And he's pointing to the east. It's the building that looks like a sailing ship. Found on the water's edge. Very pretty. There he is again, Christopher Columbus pointing to the east. This is a human statue. And we've taken the funicular up to Montjuic and I think we're standing next to the perhaps Olympic pool with this fantastic view of the city. The 
this is the Olympic Stadium where they held the Barcelona Olympics opening in 1992. And they're about to have a soccer game. And they're about to have a soccer game. It's a great view from here near the National Art Museum. Plaza de España, the bull ring. And the TV tower in the background. This is the National Museum on a Sunday afternoon. This is where the magic fountain happens in front of this art museum. And it cascades all the way down. Right down to Plaza de España. So this is our last morning in yeah. Barcelona. Yeah. We've had a fantastic time. And we're looking out at the very long column. It looks like a bell tower. That's probably where all the bells are coming from. We're in uh, Plaza de la Revolución. Someone was executed here, I think, in 1868. And look, these are jacaranda trees. People sitting under them, having their coffee. We wandered up Carrera Verde, popping into several of the little shops along the way. There's plenty of retro shops here, selling used clothing with Hawaiian shirts and boho. There are also small designer shops where you can see the designers sewing clothes as well as having them on display for sale. Gracia is a very community-minded area. We saw plenty of mums breastfeeding in the classes while drinking coffee and chatting. There's also an abundance of newborn babies on the streets. Parents are happy to have babies crawling around the classes, simply moving them when the cleaning trucks enter to do their sweeping. It's refreshing to see a more relaxed approach to childcare. Like these childcare workers pushing the toddlers around. We ate in a few nights getting our supplies from this local market. We were sad to leave the magic city of Barcelona 